Hello again. Today we're going to look at a care package I was sent by another YouTuber that I've mentioned before on this channel, uh, Joe St. Egg Benedictus. And if you don't already follow his channel, you should. Um, but if you're watching mine, you probably already do. So he was uh, kind enough to send a few interesting things to me, which I very much appreciate. And we're going to look at some of those today. I'm going to try to keep these videos short by breaking them up kind of by subject. So I'll probably break this into two parts. So today we'll look at part of that care package. I had sent uh, St. Joe a prayer book uh, that uh, fits with types of books that he collects. <clears throat> and he was kind enough to uh, send me a few things that he thought I might be interested in, and he was right. So um, we'll look at a few of those things now. Since St. Joe apparently pays attention to my channel, he knows that I am a fan of graphite pencils. And he sent me a nice selection, the first one here. I'm not going to show all the details because I don't know how open St. Joe is to uh, revealing personal information. So uh, I happen to have a large, an embarrassingly large collection of church pencils from various churches. And... Um, by way of confession, not all of these pencils were explicitly given to me. So that's all I'm going to say about that. The rest is between me and God. He also sent me, not God, but uh, St. Joe, some of these terrific, limited edition, extremely rare, Joe St. Egg Benedictus pencils which is fantastic that he did this. Take a close look at one of these. Green's my favorite color. We'll take a look at that one. Hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna adjust the focus here. YouTube at Joe St. Egg Benedictus. And a uh, very nice pencil. Maybe I'll grab a notebook and we'll give her a try. Okay, let's try one of these good-looking pencils here. Um, I appreciate that they come pre-sharpened with this really long point. I'm assuming St. Joe did that, because I've never had a pencil come pre-sharpened and have it be a nice point like that. That's really well done. So if you did that, I'd be interested in knowing what sharpener you were using on that. Maybe you can let me know. Let's just give this a try at a funny angle here. What makes the elephant charge its tusks in the misty mists and the dusky dusks? Nice pencil, very smooth, nicely dark, and I have a hunch about this pencil that maybe St. Joe has more info on. I am guessing this pencil, like most of my favorite pencils, was made in India. And the reason I think that has to do with this wood. Hopefully you can see that. This has like a um, texture to it. It's almost like a peach pit or an almond shell, kind of pitted, which is a wood that I have only ever seen in a pencil that came from India. And I have a few examples here to show the Nataraj Deep Dark made in India quality pencil, deep dark, and this wood, hopefully you can see that, 
also that oddly pitted wood. I'm not sure what it is that they use in India. It's obviously not cedar, uh, but it's a really fine wood. It sharpens nicely. Here's a uh, casemate. This is sold as the house brand for Walmart stores. I got this a while back. It also has that same pitted wood, also made in India, probably by the Nataraj company, I think. And here's another Nataraj pencil, the Nataraj uh, ruby, they call this sometimes, I think, 621. And same type of wood, that almond shell kind of wood. So that was a long way of saying, I think these pencils, based on how smooth and dark it is, and that fine wood, I bet these are Indian made, which, well done, St. Joe. That is a quality pencil. And uh, I'm supposed to pass these out to friends and loved ones, but that's going to be real hard, just being honest with you. But I'll do it because you asked. In keeping with the pencil theme, I wanted to share a little something regarding some other Indian made pencils. Whenever I see pencils made in India, I'm tempted to bring them home because they make such fine pencils, uh, except in this case. And um, this is a type of pencil that I've talked about before that is my least favorite, but it does have a very specific purpose for which I use them. And uh, you can see I bought these at Ollie's, a discount, uh, kind of the big lots of our area. We also have big lots, but it's similar to big lots. I saw this made in India box. Creative Colors pencils and brought them home and sharpened them up only to find that these are plastic extruded pencils. And I just realized this the quality control is lacking in this batch. As if it's not bad enough, they're plastic pencils. They also are terrible plastic pencils, but um, plastic pencils were a thing that uh, kind of started in early 70s, I think 74 Empire Pencils uh, kind of invented this. Um, Empire was owned by Hasbro that makes toys, and I guess this is a toy pencil. It's plastic. It writes, um, but uh, I wouldn't use a plastic pencil for anything other than making notes in a book or Bible. And the reason I would use it for that, as I've said before, they don't smudge. Whatever uh, waxy, plasticky graphite they use tends to stay on the page until you erase it. It doesn't smudge or rub off. So it's great for making notes in your books and Bibles. So I give it a thumbs up for that and a thumbs down for every other use. Uh, so I brought these home because they're Indian made, disappointed that they are plastic. Uh, I did get suckered into another batch of plastic pencils, also from Ollie's, which is apparently where plastic pencils go when nobody wants them. I bought these because they are Stadler pencils and they make a fine pencil. And I didn't realize these were plastic. Uh, I thought maybe they were just colored wood, which you see from time to time. But no, these are also extruded plastic pencils and they're terrible for writing, but they are great for making notes in your Bibles. So another plus there. And then in a grab bag of pencils recently in my local thrift, I found a couple of these that you've probably seen at your local Kroger or uh, convenience store. Uh, these Bic plastic pencils in funky colors with plastic ferrules. Plastic ferrules isn't Something you see only in modern plastic pencils, but uh, they were doing this, I think, during the war years in the 40s when metal was in short supply. Uh, I know I've at least one Ticonderoga that has a plastic ferrule, but anyway, these were in a grab bag. And this uh, got me thinking, you know, I, I haven't ever tried these before. And since I do use these plastic pencils for that one specific purpose, maybe... I will give these a try. These I saw brand new at my um, local Dollar General, I believe it was, in the sale section after back to school was over. And these are kind of the modern iteration or the 
the most recent iteration of these same Bic plastic pencils made in France. Um, but I like the funky colors here, and I thought I'd give these a try. Um, see if they're as bad as I remember. Maybe they made some scientific advancements. Who knows? So let's give this plastic Bic a try just see yeah that's as awful as I expected um, maybe I'll put a little better point on this and keep it by my uh, on my nightstand next to my Bibles and if I need to jot down a note in the margins I'll use this otherwise I will never pick it up again so there you go a little look at uh, some pencils I got from St. Joe, and uh, some plastic pencils I recently bought against my better judgment. Hope you enjoyed this little um, pencil edition of moving about and manipulating objects. And next time I will look at a couple other items that St. Joe sent in that care package. And um, hope you'll join me then.